Today's a really exciting day. It's the last day of Independent Bookshop Week. And today we've got a local poet, Patrick Green, coming to read from his book, Sandpaper. And also we've got uh, 11 children's authors turning up and they'll be here signing their books. And they've been on a tour of the North East, going to a number of bookshops. Uh, so it's going to be a really exciting afternoon. How many bookshop uh, book authors can you get into one bookshop? Uh, here is a little look at some of their books that you can get signed by the authors. Come down, see them, have a chat. As I say, 11 in a bookshop. The question is, what do you call a group of 11 authors? Is that like a scribble? A jotting? If you can think of something, stick a comment on after this post. My name is Dan Smith, and this is my latest book, which is called The Wall Between Us. And The Wall Between Us is set in Berlin in 1961, and it's about two friends. There they are on the front, Anya and Monica. And they're best friends. They're also cousins. They live on opposite sides of the street. And they're in and out of each other's houses all the time until one night, the 13th of August 1961, they wake up to see that police and soldiers are rolling barbed wire along the middle of the road and it separates them and over the next sort of week and months the barbed wire is replaced with a wall and as the weeks pass they are less and less able to see each other over the wall until the wall is so high they can't even see each other and they can't see each other anymore but Anya realises that her cat Otto has found a way to get to the other side of the wall so she decides one night to follow him uh, which she does and she discovers that his method of getting to the other side of the wall is not just cat sized but it's person sized and she decides she's going to go through and see if she can see her friend and it's a decision that leads her and her friend into lots and lots of trouble lots of danger involving the secret police soldiers the stasi all kinds of things i won't say anything else because i don't want to spoil it <laughs> and if i had to pick three words i'd pick the three on the back which are thrilling historical adventure hi i'm james harris children's author from middlesbrough happy time must be destroyed in three words here it is or alien invasion yorkshire Hello, I'm James Nicola. I'm the author of The Spell Tailors. This is a story about a magical family who can stitch magic into climax. And to sum it up in three words, I would say it's about family, magic, and adventure. Hi, I'm Gabrielle Kent. I'm the author of the Alfie Bloom and the Knights and Bikes series, and most recently, author of Rani Reports, my husband Satish, so Gabrielle and Satish Shurat. It's a news hunting mystery where Rani is on the hunt for a brilliant story for the junior journalist competition and her nanny is over from Mauritius causing all kinds of trouble as they go on a whole series of adventures trying to track down um, a mysterious treasure tra trail with a hidden secret I at think the end. Got them all I hope you enjoy it. Right, I'm Tom Vaughan, this is my book, A Gangster Stole My Trunks. It's for eight plus readers and it is a funny, zany murder mystery set on a cruise liner. Hi, I'm Andy Ruffle. This is my book, Really Grim, and this is what I've done. It is a very dark, kind of twisting adventure. It's for 10 to 12 year olds, but it's for the sort of kids who like being a bit scared. Hello, I'm Annalise Avery, author of The Immortal Games. And if I had to sum this book up in three words, which happily I do, I would say that the first word is epic. This is an epic adventure full of amazing Greek gods just messing about with teenagers and putting them in a questing scenario. My second word would probably be fate. So the way that the gods choose the teenagers that are going to take part in the quest is basically through fate. They each uh, put their hand into a bag and pick out a token and the token has a sign of the zodiac on it. They then have to go and choose who is going to represent them in the immortal games. And the third word would probably be romanticism. So this is a hard kind of action packed adventure but there's also romantic elements in it. Our main character Ara uh, forms a couple of attachments during the and she is also dealing with her own demons as well as dealing with her own particular god. Hi, I'm Lorraine Gregory and I've written Interdimensional Explorers which is a book all about um, the multiverse, aliens and adventure.
I'm Patrick Green and this is my first full collection of poems uh, titled Sandpaper uh, published by Abashi Press and um, yeah it's an, accumul uh, sort of a, an accumulation of many poems that have been written over 10 years and coming together to form uh, the collection. There's some very clear poems in there, um, understandable and some more surreal, uh, I think it's a good mix of, of, of poems and uh, it's my first collection, I am working on my second at the moment and check it out, Sandpaper, thank you very much. Afternoon, the Wonky Tree uh, bookshop in Labour. So uh, this is my uh, collection, Sandpaper, and I'm going to read some poems from it today. This first poem is called, Tell Me. What's it like to hear the steam from a coffee maker? The chatter from each table and corner? The sound of change clinking in the register, the ring and arrival of another smiling stranger. What's it like to sit opposite a friend or two, to pat a back, to shake a hand, to stand shoulder to shoulder whilst helping with a coat for the back of a chair? What's it like to break from routine, to taste a sandwich made by someone else, to drink tea from an unusual cup, What's it like to watch the street behind glass, people crossing each other's paths? What's it like to be under the sky that's blue and the clouds that are white, and to not notice how they are moving and where they are heading? What's it like to have one more stir with a spoon and to place it on an unused saucer? What's it like to breathe with each other? Thank you. Very nice.